We're joined right now by Cole Wilbur. Uh, Cole, you scored uh, 13 points, four boards uh, on the evening, uh, four assists, but none bigger than that last second shot. Uh, was that the design of the play, or is that just kind of how it played out to you? Uh, the design was for Ross to get the ball in the corner, but he wasn't open when he caught it, so he got in the lane, kicked it, and I hit the shot. So. Now, were you know? Did you know? We we talked to a shooter the other the, earlier this week from uh, Minnesota State, uh, Moorhead, and he knew he was going to take the shot. Did you have any idea you're going to take that game winner? Uh, I thought Ross was going to take it, but <laughs> once he got in the lane, I realized he wasn't going to shoot it. So at I was what ready. at what point in time on the clock did you notice you know time running down, and then you knew, you knew you had to put that shot up? Uh, well, it was supposed to be quick for Ross, so when, when I know he uh, didn't shoot it, I knew I had to get it up right away. So, What is it like to be out there playoff time and knock down a game winner, to keep your season moving, not just to tie a game or anything, but to knock down the game winner to send you through to a qualification game that still gives you guys a chance to go to the state tournament this year? It's a lot of fun to play another game with those boys, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. When you were looking at that game, I mean, you guys were down four points with, about 20 seconds to go. You guys were able to knock down a shot, make it a one-point game. You force a missed shot by Cheyenne, and when you had to regroup, I mean, what was going through your mind the last, like, full 30 seconds? Because it wasn't just knock down that one shot. You had to make a shot and force a turnover before you even got to that opportunity. Uh, We just got to take it one possession at a time. We knew we had to score and then get a stop and then score again, which is what we did.